Here I've got a nice quick number theory problem from the 2006 Thai Math Olympiad. Maybe before we get started, I want to mention that I was in Thailand when it became 2006. That is on the new year. And I was actually on a rock climbing trip in Tansai, so there's no big surprise there. Okay, so let's see what our goal is. We want to find the remainder when dividing this astronomically large number by 29. So let's look at what that number is. It's 26 factorial to the 26th power plus 27 factorial to the 27th power. So this is not something that you could do just via calculation. You have to use some known mathematical theorems. Maybe if you guys have an idea for finding how many digits are in this number, maybe post it in the comments. Okay, so finding a remainder when dividing by 29 is the same thing as reducing mod 29. And we're lucky in that 29 is a prime number, so we can use Wilson's theorem and Fermat's little theorem. So let's recall what those say. If P is a prime and P does not divide A, then p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod p, so that's Wilson's theorem. And then a to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p, so that's for Ma's little theorem. Okay, so now that we've done this review, we've talked about the problem, let's go ahead and get started. We'll focus on these two parts individually, starting with this 27 factorial to the 27. So let's first notice by Wilson's theorem, we have that 28 factorial is congruent to minus one mod 29. So that's pretty obvious because 28 is 29 minus one. That's a direct application of this. Next up, I wanna notice that we can factor a 28 out of this. This is 28 times 27 factorial is congruent to minus one mod 29. But we can change the residue class of 28. Instead of writing 28, we can write minus one. So now we've got minus one times 27 factorial is congruent to minus one mod 29. But we might as well just cancel the minus ones from both sides of the equation, leaving us with 27 factorial is congruent to one mod 29. And this is actually often generalized in an elementary linear algebra class, or sorry, elementary number theory class as P minus two factorial is congruent to one modulo P. Okay, great. But notice that this takes care of a lot of this part. So this 27 factorial to the 27 can now be simplified very quickly. That is congruent to one to the 27, which is congruent to one mod 29. So that portion of the problem is taken care of. Now let's look at the other portion, which is 26 factorial. And luckily we can use what we just found out about 27 factorial. So let's move on to that. So we've got 27 factorial is congruent to one mod 29. I'll write that down. Then I'll factor a 27 out. So we've got 27 times 26 factorial is congruent to one mod 29. Now we'll play this game again. So we can take this 27 and take a different residue class and the residue class will be minus two. Notice that 27 minus 29 is minus two. So those are congruent mod 29. So now multiplying both sides of the congruence by minus two inverse, we'll be left with the following congruence. We have 26 factorial is congruent to minus two inverse modulo 29. You might think, well, maybe we should reduce this minus two inverse to something that's a little more familiar, like some number between one and 28, but we'll see that won't exactly be advantageous for us. Okay, so now let's move on to our main goal. We've got this 26 factorial to the 26 plus 27 factorial to the 27 will be congruent to minus 
two to the minus 26. So we've got something to the minus one power and then to the 26 power. So by exponent rules, which hold in modular arithmetic, we get this is to the minus 26 power. And then we'll have this is plus, well, like we said up there, one mod 29. So we've used Wilson's theorem a bit, but we haven't used Fermat's little theorem. Now we're ready to do that. We'll take this object right here and multiply it by one, but we'll multiply it by a very special version of one. The version of one that I wanna multiply it by is minus two to the 29 minus one, which is 28. So notice that's like a to the p minus one in this Fermat's little theorem setup. So let's see what that leaves us with. This is gonna be congruent to minus two to the 28 minus 26, that's two plus one. But now we've got really simple arithmetic, minus two squared is four plus one is five. So the final answer is five mod 29. So in other words, when we divide this crazy number by 29, we get a remainder of five. And that's a good place to stop.